Hi, this is Phil Chandler and I've just discovered a new little trick here with uh, polynukes which I know a lot of you use and uh, I thought you might, I might just pass this on while I'm doing it. Um, I've actually put, uh, as you can see, there's dry sugar in the feeder in here because this particular feeder, um, if you don't line it with wax, it actually is porous, this material is porous and it leaks through. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. Mainly it's this um, here, you can see, I've got a cage in a, uh, sorry, I've got a queen in a cage here and I've put her under the feeder cover, which is um, clear perspex, as you can see, and this is a queen's hive, obviously, and you can see through here, the cover here that the bees are quite excited about uh, about this queen. Now, it's how you interpret their behaviour is obviously somewhat um, subjective, but they're certainly very interested. They can certainly smell the queen. They're certainly very excited about the queen. They've only been queenless for less than an hour, so they are probably not really yet ready to think about accepting the queen. But the reason I'm showing you this is because this is a really interesting way that I hadn't really thought of before. It's just occurred to me um, of introducing a queen to a polynuke that has a feeder on it. I mean, this is just a single box um, polynuke with a feeder on top. But this transparent feeder lid gives you the opportunity to put a queen cage in there with a queen in it and actually observe how the queen, how the bees respond to her because they don't always uh, appreciate having a new queen so quickly and it's possible that they might not accept her. So we want to observe their behaviour and make sure they're not behaving aggressively towards her before we actually release her. But of course this is a, um, this is a cage that has a, a sugar plug in the end so they're going to eat their way through that sugar plug and that's going to take them probably who knows a day or so and uh, they'll release it anyway. But it's a good way of testing um, getting a, some sort of visual indication of how the bees are behaving and it doesn't look to me like in this case they're being aggressive they're not they're not sort of grabbing hold of the um, the openings in the cage and, and uh, trying to get at her um, so I'm thinking this is probably not a bad idea not a bad uh, time to, to give her this give them this queen um, there you go anyway so it's an idea it's uh, the point here is that you can actually see what's going on uh, rather than putting the queen inside and having to lift the, the lift the top each time to check how she's uh, being received 